We all love texture, don't we all? But is it really good? And if so, what is the best way to use a track shooter? That's what we're gonna discuss in today's video. So let's just roll straight into it. Hello everyone, welcome back to a brand new video. Today we're gonna go all over the tracks with the track shooter. Yes, I love the puns. Why track shooter? Why not track shooter? It has a very cute little pad as you can see. And it has some fun options. The Inferno Ring, the Super Mill Storm, and the Track Zone. Some of you might know it, some of you might not. As you can see, it has a small little circle. Circle. And yes, you can expand this circle. The circle is where it will hit those lovely nails all over the map. You can upgrade it to shoot faster. You can upgrade it to have more tracks so it has like, they don't have the dead spots and stuff like that. You can upgrade the range and all that fun stuff. So what does what do? Well, you shoot faster, shoots even faster, you get 10 track shooters instead of 8, you get 12 per shot instead of 8, so you have 4 more uh, tracks in the middle. The track sprayer is 16, incredibly fast shooting, many many... <laughs> we, uh, can we just talk about how we love the names? More? More? Even more, even more, very much more. Yes, great success. More range, more range. We go blades, we go bigger blades, we go super big blades. And yes, now you have an ability to use. The shoof, 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 shoof. Lovely, jovely, don't you think? Then we have the faster firing, even faster firing. The fire, the more fire, the bigger fire. This is just basically a submarine for the people that don't know. Everything in this circle just gets demolished. All right, let's just have a look at the final tiers because that's what the most people are interested in about. And let's start off with the Max Inferno. Max Inferno, if I can place it correctly. There we go. So we're going to spam some of these balloons. As you can see, it will just burn everything to a crisp. Very nice. And it will shoot a fireball. Kaboom. Ah. There's a red one. Kaboom, kaboom. Oh no, it's OMG. Oh no, whatever shall we do? Oh no, whatever shall we do? If only we had something good. So I think we have a clear picture about an Inferno Ring. Next one is a Super Millstorm. We'll start off with the rainbows. The Millstorm is pretty mediocre. But it has a fun ability, which makes it very, very good. Yeah, that's Millstorm for you. Millstorm versus ZOMG. Well, we would have lost that. We would have lost that. And that was with me reducing the cooldown speed, letting it fully go, pulling it down, instantly going again. Yes, I could have saved some more time by pressing one instead of dragging my mouse, but that's besides the point. It's mediocre, but in fast rounds or uh, rush rounds, let's say we just hit a hundred of the rainbows. We hit a hundred of the camel rainbows. This will take care of that wave pretty darn easy there's more it will take care of it very fast so that's the main priority next one is by far my favorite the track zone some of you may already use this one in their own battles and my so mg is uh i messed up i am surprised if this will do anything against us Let's start with a red balloon, because we don't talk about me messing up. So the track zone will make short work out of this. We'll not win it, but you know, it's, 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 it does some pretty decent damage. So why would you start using one of these amazing track shooters? Well, first of all, they're pretty darn cheap and pretty darn good. For example, the track zone, if you go, the track zone, here you go. 100, 110, 500, I'll just round it up to 500, 
3,521,022 if you run up to the top, which you don't have to go to the top tier for this one. I pretty much use overdrives a lot because they're a good range. They do a lot of DPS. They care of fast balloons, spam balloons, pretty darn easy. But if you really want to go to down to DPS and use it as like your main DPS tower, you might want to go for an Inferno ring, but then you're down 50k. But it does a pretty darn decent amount of damage. So here are the upgrades I would suggest if you're using them on my track shooter and keep in mind these are my personal use use cases i will go even faster shooting on the track show because then it's just a barrage on the inferno ring i will go range because the more range you have in this circle the more dps you can do with that because keep in mind it's your highest dps one on the other one, I use even faster firing because it's slow as hell. So for the people wondering, yes, we will lose this um, bat, but I'll explain this in a second. And this, my friends, is why Infernos are very good. But as you saw before, we have one weakness. Ish. Only the fireball of the Inferno Ring can see camo. So that means on camo rounds, if your only defense is that, you will lose. But if we add this one to the mix, things start to take a turn. So everyone, that was it for this video. Let me know in the comments down below what I've missed. If you have some things to add to the video. Or let me know what your favorite track shooter is and what type of battle you use it in. That means that everyone, hope you learned something and I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.